All right, so this morning I traded three different stocks. Uh, these three stocks were our three leading gappers in the market. Well, actually, that, that was true until I guess this one, G-E-E-X, popped up here. But KSCP, FGI, and IINN. Those are the three I traded. New appears as a leading gapper, but uh, this is a reverse split. Now, it is helpful to see that it's um, the leading gapper because, well, it brings our attention to the fact that it was a reverse split. And sometimes these ended up do end up providing opportunities, but uh, not today on this one. So anyways, IINN, um, green on it. And so before I get into the recap anymore, I'll remind everyone as always that trading is risky. Uh, most beginner traders do lose money. My results are not typical. So I encourage you to trade in a simulator before you put real money on the line and to take it slow. So IINN, uh, pretty choppy price action on this one. You know, you could see how it was just like all over the place. So my gains on this were, uh, I believe it was actually during the morning show that I took all the trades that I took on this one. Um, and my, um, so I had a trade right here along at uh, 339 and sold at 363. Uh, well, not that was the high 363, but took my profit in that candle. I think that was actually my only trade on IINN. I don't remember if I traded it um, earlier than that. Let me just look. I, I, I don't think that I did. No, that was my only trade. So one trade on IINN and it was a green trade. And by the way, uh, I didn't have a single losing trade today. Every trade I took was a green trade. Small wins, base hits, but finishing the morning up 8,800 is not bad. So uh, that was a trade on IINN, a break of 339. I thought that that level would result in a squeeze through the high because it was right underneath the high. It was a pretty strong squeeze back up, a strong sell-off, but then bounced right back up. So a little bit of a bear trap, got a nice squeeze there. That was the only trade I took on it. Uh, KSCP, I took a few trades on this one. Um, this is the one that uh, I did the best on on Friday. Uh, on Friday, we had some really you know impressive momentum on it. So uh, I was watching it naturally today. And let's see, my first trade on this one um, was, let's see. Um, so yeah, so it was actually um, right in uh, this area. So it pops up here to a high of uh, 2171. It pulls back. Then it squeezes a little bit higher, and I just took a quick trade here through 2250 up to 2330. It was the top, but the volume was increasing, and it was starting to, at that point, go parabolic. So I did a 4,500 share trade, had some profit on it. Uh, then it pulls back, so that was that was my trade on that one. Um, let's see, we got up to yeah 2308. Uh, then I had the IINN trade, and then after that, I had the trade on FGI. So my first trade on FGI uh, was actually um, along at uh, about 540 for 45 for the break of VWAP. We hit 557, pulled back, popped up up to a high of 575, took my profit, which was about a thousand bucks. It pulls back, it pops back up, it drops back down. And then uh, at the open right here, we ended up having a, a nice squeeze. And so this was uh, the last trade that I took actually. Uh, I got in as soon as it broke through 574, 575 right here. So I bought right there and it squeezes up to 93. It halts up and then on resumption, added on the dip and we got a rip up to uh, 625 so not bad you know it, it then pulled all the way back so not a pretty chart and at this point it's below the vwap kscp is also below the vwap and iinn is also below the vwap and iinn had a really nasty rejection right here this was a a, a, a bull trap broke over vwap and then just got nailed right back down. So, you know, I'm I'm finishing up here with $8,800 of profit. This has been, um, well, it's been my worst month in over a year. 
And that's the truth. It's been a really uh, bad month for me. I'm green on the month, uh, but it's been the worst month in over a year. This was uh, nearly a red month. I was down, I was up about 96,000 on the month at my peak, and then I was down about 10,000 on at my low, and I'm gonna finish up around 20, somewhere between 23 and 24,000. So that is not impressive. Um, in, in my book, I hold myself to a bit of a higher standard there. Now, yes, the last 90 days, you can see that this pullback that I had here in January, is, it's really, it's not a big deal, and it's not. Uh, but, you know, when you just look at from January 1st, well, it's not too pretty looking. Uh, was up 96,000 or 100 net profit, 108 gross, 96 net, down to nine, and then back up to 16, 17 before today's profit. So the problem this month was that, you know, I, I had some, uh, my accuracy was actually quite good, 70%, 71. And after today, I'm going to add five or six more green trades. So it'll be over 71%. Accuracy was solid this month. The winners were tiny. That was the problem. I just had small winners the whole month. My biggest green day was only $22,000. That was on like the first week, or it was 20,000. Well, I guess it depends on gross or net, but whatever, it doesn't, either way. So yeah, 22,000 there on that day. But then I caught, you know, these three red days in a row culminating with a $39,000 loss on this day that, you know, was me being way too emotionally impulsive, way too aggressive, and I got smoked. I only took three trades, but I got smoked. Small green day, came back and got smoked again. And I finished, so two red weeks, red on that week and red on this week. And this these two weeks that were green were fine, but the profits uh, for me were, were on the smaller side. So... You know, in retrospect, I think that um, the pressure of trying to get the year off to a really good start was uh, more powerful than I realized. And it pushed me to try to be really aggressive, to try to build my cushion as quickly as possible, because then I wouldn't have to feel anxious anymore, you know, about being off to a strong start. I would, I would be off to a strong start. So I was trading with too much size, trading too aggressively not producing enough profit and um, unfortunately just setting myself up to get caught in a couple of uh, bull traps and I did and so a little disappointing there uh, for sure but at the same time um, you know keeping things in perspective green is is good it is a green month and um, so my last red month was let's see 20. Yeah, 20. Uh, my last red month, I had a, well, the last one would have been in 2020. Let's see, let's look like this. Um, 2022, 2021, 2020. So, yeah, that was my last red month. Uh, but I started the year basically flat in 2020. I, I didn't really do that well in January. It was good in Fre February. Didn't do that well in March. Was good in April and then May and then June killed it. Uh, July, you know, it's pulled back a little bit. Uh, and then coming into 2021, we had GameStop. But that was my last red month right there, minus 27,000 in net. So November of 2020. But, you know, the two months before and after were both over 600,000. So it's just funny how the market can cool off so quickly. Uh, but it can. And uh, so anyways, where I finish here for the first month of 2022 isn't anything particularly impressive. But uh, what's good is that the last three days have been green and we've seen some more opportunity. So moving back in the right direction, which is great. And I, you know, what's most frustrating for me is I was up 100,000 on the month. I could have easily finished the month between 100 and 150,000 dollars if I had had more discipline. Discipline to do what? To sit on my hands, to trade with smaller size, to wait for good quality setups to come to me rather than being overly aggressive on B and C quality setups. I was not patient and that cost me a lot this month. So in the grand scheme of things, it's okay, but I'd like to do better. And guess what? I have an opportunity to try to do better starting tomorrow, next month, February. 
So today was uh, trader rehab for me, trading with smaller size, being a bit more uh, disciplined about, um, you know, getting green and locking it up and not overstaying my welcome. So I'm shutting down here at $8,800. Not my daily goal by any means, but it's a green day. It's a good day. And I'm going to keep that in my pocket and try again tomorrow. And I'm going to try to get February off to a decent start, going slow and steady. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we'll see how we do, see if we continue to see more opportunities. The recent IPO is sort of back in play. That's what we had on KSCP, recent IPO. That was the catalyst. FGI, uh, recent IPO, similar catalyst. So, all right, we're starting to see a little bit of a pattern here. So I'm gonna be watching IPOs uh, over the next couple of weeks uh, and see if that pattern and that trend continues. All right, so that's it for me. I'm gonna shut it down and live trade another day. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning, February 1st. I hope you really enjoyed that video and make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Our goal is to hit 1 million subscribers this year, but we won't get there without your help. So please, please, please hit that subscribe button.